Hello everyone. Basically, today I will also give some kind of instruction that's related to teaching methodology, right? Um, especially, um, I have to follow up on one of the teachers' a request regarding how to present um, your lesson or how to do to move from one step or from one procedure to another. I will depend or I will sorry pretend that I am in a real classroom environment since I am doing with a virtual learning as you know. And I will provide you with the clues, ideas that help you to engage implicitly, I mean indirectly with your students and um, adapt with the classroom learning experience, right? This is the goal of this episode. Now, I will explain to you step by step. The first thing you need to do before presenting your lesson is you need to identify what kind of approach you are following. Are you doing deductive approach or inductive approach? We have only two approach that are common globally, right? So let me explain. The first thing you need to do, approaches. You need to identify or to clarify which approach you want to imply within your lesson plan. So approach. Approaches. We have two different approaches that need to need to be followed. The first thing is deductive and inductive. Deductive and inductive approach. I will explain again. I previously explained about what is the meaning uh, about these approaches. Deductive approach simply means you are going to start from presentation by explain, giving examples, etc., and uh, trying to explain the rule and let your students learn about it, and after that, they are required to do an activity, right? But inductive approach means you are going to start from exercising, give them exercises, give them tasks to do, and let them identify what the lesson is about, identify the rule. Deductive from general to specific, inductive from specific to general, so the other way around, right? This is the meaning. So, I will choose a lesson just to make it very easy to comprehend. Uh, I will present a lesson about relative pronouns and you need to follow me how I used to do uh, my lesson during the classroom setting. So our lesson is about related pronoun, but you cannot say them to say. Uh, uh, I mean, reveal the topic to your learners. You need to do it indirectly and let them discover, right, what the lesson is about. And then start. Our lesson today is about etc. Right. The first thing you need to do is to present. Presentation first. Presentation phase can be by using pictures, asking questions, uh, presenting some kind of uh, clues, images, and open a debate. You will open a debate with your students, and they will give you ideas, and they will accept some and um, refuse some of them. All right, and at the same time you will discover that learners are trying to do their effort in order to identify what the rule is, right? So from deductive approach, I will start from here. Presentation, since I don't have a picture, I will provide sentences. So lesson is about related pronouns. For example, number one. Um, let's say Khalid or Khalid was 
eating one so this one is a relative pronoun when I called him understood one here is a relative pronoun right you will explain them to the, you will uh, explain this rule later now just write the sentence one sentence two three I will give another sentence with another related pronoun for example example two let's say they are living in Algeria Which is, so which is a relative pronoun, which is splendid, right? You will ask them now questions. You will do with, uh, with, uh, we will give also another example with uh, who, where, uh, whom, whose, put them all, right? All relative pronouns. When you finish, you will ask them a question. For example, what was Khaled doing when I called when uh, I called him or when another person called him as you like? They will give you questions, and you will ask them why we use when, why we use when. Okay? They will give you suggestions. Some of them, some of them, sorry, get it, but the rest they may not. It it's not. Um, something you can expect okay expect the unexpected this is the quote that's coming by all of us right one then you will ask the same question okay algeria okay you will ask question about algeria and you will ask them why we use which right when you finish you will move to what to presenting the rule all right you will explain the rule. A related pronoun, are, who, which, were, etc. These are called related pronouns. What is the related pronoun? Who is used to relate, okay? to connect sentence A with a sentence B, or dependent with independent clause, right? This is the meaning. So, this is another thing, we need to also to identify, we need to define uh, the related pronoun, for example, when is used for a time, okay, they may discover it, which is used for things, who is used for a person, whom is used for a person but describe the object, who describe the subject, etc. You will do this, right, you will explain the lesson. After that, we will move to practice phase. What is a practice phase? Here we provide them with activities. The first thing, you will guide them, right? Guide them and try to um, find a solution to that activity. You will correct it together. This is in a practice. Then you will give them another task in a practice phase, another task, and let them work by each other, right? In a groups, in a phase, as you like, right? In the produce, in the final phase, okay? Here, provide them, them with tasks. Right. Then the final phase we have produce. Produce means you are going to do what? To let your learners work by themselves, right? You will give them, invite them to do an activity or a role play. They will make a role play. They will make a group discussion 
as you want to do it, okay? As you like. In a communicative language approach, or you can do it as a task-based approach. As you like. It depends on the situation you are dealing with. This is the idea. Right? So in the produce phase, you will give them activities. Give them activities and let them do it by themselves. Here, the goal is to encourage learners' mindset. So you will give them activities and you will let them discover the rule by themselves. For example, you will start from here, right? Rather than presenting the lesson, you will introduce them with activities, you will, they will do it by themselves and encourage them to find out the rule that hidden behind those activities or tasks, all right? And after that, in the final stage, you will do what you will present or correct with them and introduce the final version of that form. Thank you very much for your kind watching and see you for the upcoming video.